Hello everybody, it's Jill Beauty 87 here and today we're going to get into 10 high-end products I traded in for drugstore products. So I've seen people do this before, I haven't, I don't know where it originally started from, I've seen several different people do it though. It's just like you talk about drugstore products, uh, high-end products that you traded in for drugstore products based upon how the um, things cost. Um, so, yeah, sorry y'all, uh, it's one of them days again where I haven't had to sleep all day, so if I don't sound, you know, like I'm making some sense, I'm somewhat not making any sense. Anyway, oh, also, yeah, so this is my real hair, as you can see, it's quite long. I wear the fake hair during the wintertime because, um, I wear not the wintertime, it's summertime, and just let it fall into the winter, and then when January comes, I wear my natural hair, so this is it. Let me stop blabbering about that before this video cuts off, before I get finished talking about what I'm talking about. So, of course... We all know this little sponge here is called a Beauty Blender. Um, these retail for like 20 bucks, and that's kind of high just for a sponge. So I have been trading and buying these for like, it's not just this particular sponge. There's like two or three sponges I rotate between that are cheaper than this. But this is the one that um, I'm currently using, so I forgot to bring it out. This is the e.l.f. Um, sponge. I actually have one of these that they gave me for free when I ordered the e.l.f. concealers that I'll be making a video on Sunday. But... This one I think is like 5 or $6 versus paying 20 bucks. So obviously I have replaced this with this because I can buy way more sponges for way less price. And they're just as good. They blend out the foundation just as nicely. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm testing out the Dior Concealer right now. The um, new one is called Skin Correct. So that video will be going up soon too. Um, next I have a primer. So we all know I love Mother Pat and everything Mother Pat does. But this primer, Mother Pat, is way too high. You need to cut it. And we all see that like... You know, if you touch this a certain way, it'll peel off. Mine looks a lot better than other people I've seen. But, you know, this product feels amazing on the skin. And I bought the whole set, so that's how I ended up with it. But I don't know if I'd pay, like, 55 or 60 bucks for this on its own. Because if I remember correctly, that's how much it is. And that's kind of high. So I'm like, yeah. But a great alternative for me and what I plan on buying from now on is the Pretty Fresh um, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer from ColourPop. I believe this is, like, 6 bucks or something like that. I think it's six bucks. It might be nine. I don't know. But anyway, I have a video actually comparing these two. Just like I believe. I don't have a video comparing the sponges. But I have a video comparing these two things. If you're interested. I'll try to remember to link all of them in the description box below. Or um, try to put them in the cards of this video as they go on. But yeah. Definitely pay some Pat McGrath. This one right here. Because she's way less. Um, a lot of these things I have videos on, believe it or not. Um, the next one I have is the um, Farsali Skin Tune Blur. Now, we all know Farsali is just a high-ass brand in general, and this product isn't any exception. I believe it's like 54 bucks or something crazy like that, and I'm like, ooh, honey, y'all up here trying it. They're trying it with their last, but it's a really good product, so, you know, like, I bought it to try it the one time, and I'm, like, halfway done with it, and I thought I was going to have to, like, purchase one during the sale until Elf them came through in the clutch and saved my coin. Thank you, Elf. I believe in you to do real MVP. No, but the blurring um, primer or serum. And I have to give a shout out to my girl, It's Glam XO Beauty, because she has she posts a lot of dupes and she posted this dupe. And I was like, honey, let me try it. And sure enough, she was right. Like, this is a good alternative to that. And this is only like 10 bucks. So I just said that's 54. You can buy like five of, sorry, six of these for the price of one of those. Now, it doesn't say the ounce on here, but I'm pretty sure they're close to the same amount of product. And if it's not, it's like you can still get way more product at less price. So, who cares? It feels exactly the same. So, I would definitely recommend you try that out. Again, there's a video on that. Now, I got a highlighter. So, y'all know I like to mix highlighter and style with my foundation. And I have this Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face. And a lot of people watch this video. This is one of my most watched videos. But I really like this product, but it's kind of high, and I only got it because the Sephora was having, like, you know, the VIB sale when I did buy this in the springtime. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought this shot. It's way too high. But, um, I have the, um, what is it, the True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade, what shade is this? Um, Deep Glow. And I feel like it's just as good as that. Now, that one's a little bit more thicker and looks like a little more skin-like. But since I'm mixing it with foundation, it's like you don't really tell the difference. It's not a product. I'm just putting it on my face on its own. So that's why I'm fine with using the L'Oreal one as opposed to this one. And the L'Oreal one, I believe, is like $10.99 or $12.99. So still more reasonably priced. Whereas that one, I think, was like $30 something or $40. Bucks, something crazy. And I don't have a video on those, but I can do a video if you all want. Next thing I have is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Now... I barely use this product even though it's a very beautiful product because I found a dupe for it that's like from Catrice, I think for like six or eight dollars. It's the Catrice Light Illusion um loose powder. This stuff is everything and amazing. So I actually use this way more than I use this. I think I've used this like 
very few times and I think I've had it for like going on two years now whereas I reach for this all the time to put underneath my eyes and just feel like it just gives a wonderful glow. I don't know if I like this one better because it's yellow and this one because it's white and I feel like it gives more of a shimmery um, effect than this one does but I always reach for this one over this one so I figured I would include it in the video. I do have a video comparing those as well. A lot of stuff has videos comparing on it but some of it I don't. Let's see. I have the... Um, Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blushes. This is my favorite color in it. It's the color Dolly. It's this pretty mauve tone one. And what I like about Primer Infused Blushes is they actually stay on the skin all day. So you don't have to pack on blush all day and just watch it fade throughout the day. Like however much of this crap you put on, that's how much it's going to be on your face at the end of the day. So I was definitely feeling this product again. It was a vibe for me. But then Elfton came through in the clutch and saved me again. They saved me, child. So this is their Primer Infused Blush in the color Always Spicy. Now this color isn't similar to that color, but this is my all-time favorite color to wear. Like when I want the natural i don't necessarily feel like wearing blush and i don't know which blush color to pick so i just put this on so i'll um have a blush on and you know i know it'll last all day and it'll look somewhat decent with whatever i have on this is six bucks and i think those are like 20 something dollars so i'm like that's again elf out here saving people coin and i tell the lord thank you child so the next thing i have is the naked um well it's naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer i have the color dark golden and i liked this product for a long time i liked it when it first came out i still use it from time to time whenever i use my urban decay foundation and sometimes with certain foundations i just like to use this concealer but um i found one that i feel like is similar and it's actually hi more hydrating this one isn't really that hydrating and it's a pretty fresh hyaluronic um creamy concealers by um colourpop these actually just came to alter recently so i mean if you want to grab them there, you can do that and you can get a better discount than you can on, um, you know, ColourPop's website itself. These are $9 a piece and I think this one is like $28 or close to $30 or something crazy like that. So I would definitely recommend these over this just because it's a better price point and I feel like they do the same thing. Um, okay, next thing I have. Now, I know these products are exactly the same. I ran out of my Frasali Rose Gold Skin Mist and I told y'all I didn't like the sprayer on this um, fourth ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. So I just poured the Glisten Up Mix in here now that I have ran out of this. But I feel like these are really good dupes for each other. I feel like they both do the same thing, which is clone down a pat on my face and give it a nice um, refreshing feel. So that's why I figured I'd mention both of them. But I will definitely be repurchasing this one way more than I'll be purchasing this one. Because this one I think is like $49 or $34 or something crazy like that. Whereas this is I think like $12 bucks if I remember. So definitely get your hands on those two. I only got a couple more things left. I swear. Um, liquid lipsticks. Now I do like the colors that Kylie Jenner comes out with in her lip kits. But a lot of times I don't usually end up reaching for them. I'll buy them. I think the color's nice. I wear it a couple of times. But I feel like her formula is really dry. So obviously the obvious choice would be the, the color pop ones. I have the color Revere here by Kathleen Knight. This is one of my all-time favorite oranges. When I need to grab for orange, I always grab for orange that um, Kathleen Knight has made. I swear she does an excellent job when it comes to orange lipsticks. It's amazing. I love this and I love Miami Fever. She just does a great job. But anyway, since, you know, they're made by the same factory, that one I feel like is the obvious one. And the last one I have, believe it or not, I just did a video on, but you haven't seen the video yet. This is the Aqua Assurance. Oh, wait, sorry. The Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Filter Powder in Dark. They say the Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation by JCAT Beauty is a dupe for it. So I did a video comparing them. Um... And um, I'll try to leave it down below too if it's up before this one is. But anyway, those are all the drugstore things I traded in for my high-end stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.